We're here to celebrate our belief in reason, science, and the power of the human mind. And to let politicians and Americans and people all around the world know that there is a base for them to stand on. And so when you say, well, faith has nothing to do with it, faith has everything to do with it. Religion's had its time. Faith is a very, very important part of my life, but it's a very, very important part of this country. It's a response to a, a, to a claim that there's a God, and atheism just simply says, I don't believe it, prove it. The Constitution is there to do one thing, protect God-given rights. Well, in government you have, uh, very often, you have uh, politicians and laws that, were, that are written or at least espoused based upon uh, what we consider to be a myth or fictional accounts. I to stand up for a country that is given rights under, the God, under God, not any God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You have folks who are making policy based on their particular religious dogma. Um, you have religious symbolism placed in public places using public money. And that God who gave us rights also gave us a responsibility and laws by which our civil laws have to comport with a higher law. God's law. Um, we believe that the Constitution makes it very clear that there is a separation of church and state and that people having their own religions and believing what they want to believe is absolutely all right, uh, but that should not be subsidized or endorsed uh, by government at any level. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sure that there's lots of misconceptions. The atheism is a very simple thing. It's, there's misconceptions about the character of an atheist. This country is bankrupt morally. If we allow rapists to walk free and innocent children to be murdered. There was a current study that um, showed that rapists were actually more trusted or, or about on par with atheists. Most of the people assume that um, atheists look a particular way you know, from some of the believers I've run into. You know what I'm saying? And what I believe is in being here showing them that they were not all like a carbon copy of each other. That we have different colors, different races. Another common misconception is that young atheists just want to make trouble or criticize religion. Uh, and sure, again, there's a few people that that might be true of, uh, but the vast majority of the students who we support, really more than anything else, they just want a community to belong to and a place where they feel safe. At one of the events we did, how, whether I'd be comfortable with somebody who was an atheist as president. And I answered uh, from the heart, which is I said no. You can be good without God and you don't need to go to church. Largely by a secular elite in the academic, news media, and judicial areas. And I frankly believe it's important to have some leadership that stands up and says enough. We are truly guaranteed the right of religious freedom, not religious oppression by the state. Well, it doesn't matter if it's too controversial or not. The students have a right to organize as atheists and agnostics and humanists. I frankly would be really worried if somebody assured me that nothing in their faith would affect their judgments, because then I'd wonder, where's your judgment? How can you have judgment if you have no faith? Religion, way too often, is a shorthand, uh, in, particularly in political discourse, for morality or for how good of a person you are. And doctrine in public policy in an America where all people need to be free.